Okay guys, we have already discussed about the live attenuated va vaccine. Now let us talk about the killed vaccine. Discuss that already. Very 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 much positive if you use it. So it's an effect. Now in case of killed vaccine, so as the name suggests, we'll take again the whole uh, cell, which is a whole bacteria or viral suspension. Then what we'll do, so they are virulent in this particular phase. So we will add gamma radiation. In past times, heat was used, but nowadays it is not not used. Instead of heat, we use gamma radiation because radiation is very important to kill. So radiation can change uh, the DNA sequence so that and it can penetrate the cell and change the sequence, mutate it so that it can be, can no longer be viable, it can no longer be virulent and this gamma radiation is so strong as we all know that gamma x-ray can change mutation, produce mutation. So if we use x-ray here, it cannot kill it, it cannot kill it because x-ray is not killing anybody, x-ray is changing the nucleotide sequences, it can mutate the virus in such a way or bacteria in such a way that it may not be viable or may not be uh, virulent anyway uh, any uh, time right but it cannot kill it but in this case our goal is to kill the cell so for killing the cell we need to take dangerous radiation like the gamma radiation which are penetrating radiation which can penetrate through the membrane of the cell of bacteria and can going to kill the cell rupture the cell so it will kill the cell so ultimately what we will get killed cell so this is our suspension we can use it as the vaccine. Now the suspension of killed cell can be used and can be injected into the body of a host and it can generate a response. Now one question you can uh, tell that you can ask better that if the cell is killed how can it generate response. Now remember bacterial cells never took part actively during the response by immune system. Immune response is a response from our side. It is not for the bacteria side, right? So if we not only inject the whole bacteria, if we inject the part of the bacteria which is foreign, which is toxic, then also the immune response will be there. And we are going to see it uh, in the future videos. That in case of rest of the type of vaccine like conjugated or subunit, we are not injecting or taking the whole uh, organism. We are just providing a small segment which is toxic. And that segment will generate the immune response. And that segment can be protein and protein conjugated with sugars or other things. We call it immunogen because it can produce immune response into the host's body. Right? Now what will happen here after injection of that. So it is a whole bacteria. Though it is killed but we are having the bacteria. And say this: if this is the LPS layer of the bacteria which can act as antigen. Now this can be recognized by the antibodies. If there are not sufficient antibody for recognizing it, so they can produce antibody via B cell and then this B antibodies can future, in future when the infection really takes place in the body, they can go and hold it and then finally using complement system, they can destroy the cell and can save our life. This is the basic procedure. So we can take it uh, using the scheme. But nowadays, uh, gamma radiation is mostly used. Okay, so that's it.